see, which you don't see every day. Mike one. Armando laughing. It says Mike's Mike one. So it's a pretty good match. I went back and watched it. Right. We got Roten four versus Justin. James is checking his phone. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be tough. I mean, I don't think Justin probably has a lot of practice against high-level Raptors like this. And for those who don't know, it's a lot harder to instant air dash in this game than any game since. Oh yeah, it's like the command has to be precise. I, I was checking it in training mode. For the first time, I've been able to practice this with and be able to see the inputs. Yeah. So I was learning basically if you tap, you basically tap up forward, up forward, or up forward towards. At any point in time, if you accidentally hit straight up, you kill the whole air dash code. Yep. So if you tap up forward and then accidentally roll the controller to straight up, nothing you're going to do is going to get that air dash out. And he's doing, Raptor uses really low to the ground air dash oh, to yeah. get some of this stuff. Justin Wong doing a pretty good job right now, just playing off, playing with his, you know, with his wits. That's how he does it. I mean, he won this, he won a Vampire Savior tournament at Focus Fire, if I'm not mistaken, like okay. two years ago. He, he basically won 100% of the games he entered, including like KOF 2002, which he never played. He just said he played 98 strategies and stuff, so. Yeah, from what I know, actually, Justin used to play a good a bit of uh, KOF at uh, Chinatown Fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like the, the older ones, especially 98. Justin Wong down just a tiny bit life. You can see he's just trying his best to zone him out. Oh, he's got it, but he doesn't know the sequence to get all five hits. Oh, he might not be using the EX one. No, he has to no, be. No, he has to be because yeah. it's glowing. You know, yeah. he hit the corner one earlier. Maybe he just doesn't know the mid-screen very. Yeah, yeah. Either that or he forgot it. And you try to get it so the last one goes at a downward, like straight down or diagonal, so you can get the pursuit afterwards, or at least just keep the momentum going. And so Justin Wong takes the first game from Rutanabor. I don't feel so bad losing to Justin now. The thing about this game is it's very much a game where those old school Capcom fundamentals can carry over, oh, even yeah. though the game is really hard and really different from, say, Street Fighter 2. I would like to see Rotanabor use more of those instant air dash up and fierce to get the whiff and then go for the command throw. Definitely. I kind of like to see the basketball. <laughs> Hell dunk. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Oh, wow. Nice. Getting that air dash in there. I mean, that instant ground dash, sorry. Yeah, the ground dash is for a lot of those characters like Sasquatch and Felicia. Take them into the air so you do have to high block them. I'm wondering if Justin is just using Beast Cannon to try to reversal or if he's trying to guard cancel and getting it. Oh, maybe. Is he always doing the diagonally up one? I'm not sure because I don't know off the top of my head which, uh, what Talbane's uh, guard cancel is. Yeah, it's the, it's, the upper, it's the upwards, diagonally upward Beast Cannon. Okay. Because he seems to be just throwing out a lot of Beast Cannons, but maybe yeah. he's just using it as a footsie tool. Yeah, I think he's just using it to control space, keep Rotanabor honest. And since he has so much meter, why not? That's true. Nice! Push block in the Electrocopter. Smart and stuff. And that does so much damage. Yeah. Look at Justin, not going for the pursuit, just chasing him down. And now just trying to get away. Ooh, wow. Oh, this should be it if he can get all of them. No! Nice. <laughs> Then he just chips him, and Justin Wong takes it over Rotanabor.